Yo guys, Otaku Ops here. How's it going? Today it's Friday, so I'm doing the NES thing. Uh, let's just get into it. So last time I did 261 to 270 and Faded Pirate was the last one. Faded Pirate, by the way, not the worst game I ever played. It's kind of like a turn-by-turn, a -turn, um, you know, pirate boat thing, which is fine. Uh, but sometimes it seems that the enemies come a bit too fast and you don't have much room for error. So, but maybe like overall it's not bad. But again, there are much, much better games like that out there today. So I just don't see the point anymore. All right, let's do 271 to 280. Uh, let's start with Final Blood. That's the demo. Let's have a look. Well, the demo sucks. Look at this. Okay, forget the demo. This is ridiculous. Yeah, blow up that tr defenseless truck. I don't know what that is, though. It looks like a tank, but I don't see the turret, which is really weird. Like, the, the trucks, I can see the whole thing. Okay, so the timer there, it's in minutes, right? So... It basically means 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Wow. And that's all you do. That's all you do. Until the timer runs out or your HP runs out. Okay. Alright, not worth it, not worth it. So, actually... Okay, let me just get back to it first. Because I forgot... Oh, Final Blood. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's called Final Blood. Because there's no blood in the game. And why is it, like, final? I, anyway. Uh, so, I think that this is... Uh, this is just boring. Like, there's not much to say. Uh, so, you get two kinds of enemies. Well, the trucks who that don't do anything. But you can destroy them. And then I think these are the other ones are tanks, but it's very strange because you only see the bottom of the tank, like you don't see the turret, but they do fire and you take damage, but it's just weird. Like if they could do the whole truck, why couldn't they do the whole tank? Like it's it's just weird. They did like half the tank. That's bizarre. Okay, next one, fish story. Whoa. Is that like an enemy? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So you can't eat the, the big ones. Oh, 
Come on. Okay, I changed the color. Seems like I'm a little bit faster. Okay, so... Oh, okay, so now you got the jellyfish going. Okay, basically that's it. Like, it's just, okay, yeah, it's gonna probably add... Like another fish, I guess, and then another jellyfish, and uh, but all you do is you get the small fish, and you get points, and when once you get enough points, you move to the next level. So again, uh, there's no attack; you can't like do anything. If you if they touch you once, it's pretty much like game over. So yeah, okay, all right. I mean, again, I don't see why you would play that to be honest, other than completing the list here. All right, next one is Flink Bowl. One player. What? What is going on here? I see, okay. Ah, shit. Okay, so I would def I definitely won that. Okay, so this this arrow though, like I can't control the arrow, which How the hell do you change the needle? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Oops. Okay, so this one, um, it's it's kind of like a I don't I'm not sure exactly how this works, but basically you have this kind of game panel and you have this uh, I don't know this gun at the bottom and you can't control it. That's the problem. Like you you can't actually control the needle. The needle um, is automatic. So sometimes that's why the robot is often there because it's like so slow. I wish you can control the needle. And then it will be a bit more interesting. Uh, but you can't. So, yeah, you have to kind of get lucky and uh, shoot when that computer is not catching it or can't catch it. Uh, it's um, it's kind of precise, but I think there's a bit of room for error here. And then basically it switches. So then you are the robot guarding and you have to block the, the shots, which is actually not very complicated. And there's also like a bomb on the board. So 
I know that he hit that once and he lost points, okay? So he lost like 200 points because he hit that bomb. Uh, so I think the other items, not sure about the question mark, but I'm pretty sure like the other items give you some kind of points except the bomb and maybe the question mark. But that's basically it. But I, I wish I could control the needle at the bottom because you can't. And that's just, I don't know, that's weird. Why Why not? Why would you not control the needle? It makes no sense. All right, next one, we're going to look at Forest Adventure. Uh, I push start. Come on. jump how do you get this one come on like seriously how do you get that one without falling down it's impossible Ooh, purple one huh like an accuracy kind of game you have to make sure to land in the correct spaces Just pause it here. So basically this game, uh, look at that pause, by the way. You can barely, barely read that. I mean, I, I know it's pause because I push it, but if somebody else is watching right now, it's like, okay, it's probably still going, right? No, it's not, it's paused. Okay, so here, from what I understand, it's basically just, you have to get these diamonds and uh, I'm not sure there's, well, the timer is the points that you make, which is kind of an interesting concept, I guess. And so the, the points go down as soon as you start the level, you know, that depends on the points you made so far. And I guess if it reaches zero, then it's kind of time up, you lose. But yeah, just jump around, get diamonds, uh, reach the exit and you know if you still have points then it's fine you'll move on to the next stage but again there's not a lot to say here the controls are like okay um, I don't struggle too much landing in areas it's not like super fluid but it's not fantastic either and I, I, I don't know it's just like it's boring <laughs> like it's really really boring actually just getting diamonds no enemies so far, except the logs. Just if you miss the log, that's it. But apart from that, next one, fruit gift. Uh, what? the hell am I supposed to do here?
Ah, shit. Wow, that was actually close. Look at that. There was only one bar left. Okay, so this game, it's... I, this is not even a puzzle game because puzzle games you have to think right this is this one you don't have to think it's just matching shapes it's the the most basic form of game you can think of okay i i screwed up at the beginning because i didn't know like what to push you know i tried all the buttons and nothing works but basically yeah uh using the up and down you change your uh fruit and uh, then you have to look at what's uh, on the sides and then basically push left or right, you know, just to match the shapes. That's it. That's all you do. You get points. Well, you have to fill the board, I guess. And then you move on to the next uh, level, which is more of the same anyway. But that's all you do. That, that's the, the bare, bare minimum of what you can call a game, I think. Yeah. Imagine having this for the whole weekend. Fruit gift. Oh, man. Uh, next one. Ghost castle. What? Okay. I don't know how to shoot. trying all the buttons and nothing works what the hell am I supposed to do here okay oh Okay, I think I kind of understand. What the hell was that? Oh, you can shoot at an angle as well? Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, so this one, um, I forgot what it's called. Ghost Castle or something? Yeah, Ghost Castle. Okay, first of all, uh, well, uh, yeah, okay. I guess these guys look like ghosts. Kind of Final Fantasy ghosts, especially. Like in the early Final Fantasies, the ghosts kind of look like that. Um, anyway, yeah, this one is, is very weird. The first problem you're going to have is nothing works you push all the buttons and absolutely nothing works so the way it works is basically you you have to hold well you don't really have to hold it but you have to push down the down button or the up button that the, the uh, changes the direction of your shooting uh, you can also do these kind of diagonals right so i think that works as well and then you push the a button to fire unfortunately it doesn't always fire, okay? Some You push it sometimes and nothing comes out. I'm not sure why. I'm, I don't know the reason. Uh, but yeah, it's not like you push A and every time it fires. Sometimes it will not. But basically, yeah, you get points and you move on to the next stage. I kind of noticed a pattern with these games. Like for the past like 20, 
games or so, it's kind of the same thing. Like, the menu, like, the screen looks the same. And I wonder, like, if it's, you know, kind of related to the same company or something. Because this is weird. It's just too similar. Golden Bird. What the hell? What's that anyway? A book? Oh shit. Okay, do you have any attacks here? Nope. That's that's really a bizarre game indeed. What's with the enemies, first of all? What is that? Like, seriously, what is that yellow thing? And look at how slow it is. And what's with the green thing? What is that? It looks like a book, you know? To me, it looks like a book anyway. I'm sure it's not, but... I make that one? Yep. Okay, so you break all the birds free and that's it. Then it's more of the same. Yep. You get a bit more time here, I think. I'm not sure. Come on. What the hell is this, though? What is that? What, just what is that? This is really weird. And no attack, so that sucks. Edge of the screen is dangerous to be in, by the way. Okay, this level is actually, in my opinion, easier, but that depends on the enemies, I think. It's definitely easier than the first one. Okay, uh, stage three. So the backgrounds change, but... I, okay. Uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna make that one. is even easier than the second one. I mean, like, this is really, really simple. Stage four. I'm not gonna play the whole thing, by the way, but you get the idea. Okay. So, yeah, it's just more of the same, basically. I don't know. Uh, I don't like this one because your character is way too slow. The end, like, especially like these, these books, I don't know, because I don't know what these enemies are, but these books are really fast, some of them. But basically, yeah, you go through the level, you, you clear out, you know, you break, you let the birds loose or whatever. I'm not sure how, because he doesn't have any weapons, but okay. And that's it. You get all the birds and you move on to the next stage. That's really all there is to it. It's kind of a patience game because you have to sometimes wait for the enemies to pass, but that's pretty much it. Alright, so that was Golden Bird. Yep. Next one, Greeds. That's strange because Greed, okay, Greed is a word. Greeds, though. I, 
I've never seen it in plural, so yeah. Oh, it's greedy. Okay, so somebody misread the title. It's snake. Yes, it is. Okay, so you have to get a certain amount of them, obviously. Um, well, it says there at the top. It's it, it's actually kind of confusing because on like in the game itself, it looks like you're getting diamonds, but at the top, it looks like a heart. So that can be a bit disorienting. But basically, yeah, it's snake. It's just another variety of, well, this is a, the, the basic form of snake. You just eat things and get longer. I just want to check out like the next stage because is that going to be the same or is, is there going to be like an enemy or this is, this is too easy. Um, okay. So that's stage one. No, it's just the same. Oh yeah. You go a bit faster. So that's maybe it, the speed. Controls are okay, pretty good. Pretty responsive. Better than the last one I played. That one was just weird. Anyway, yeah, it's Snake. So everybody knows this game, I think. I don't need to spend time on it, right? Okay, so there's no enemies, no obstacles. I think the only thing that changes is your speed. So probably, you know, at level 10 or whatever, it goes really fast. But yeah, that's it. It's Snake. Snake is like one of the oldest games ever. Okay, next one. Uh, yeah, they fucked up the title. It's not greed, it's greedy. Uh, I know that in the title screen, it looks a bit like an S, and so somebody probably looked at that and like, hmm, that's greeds, but no, it's greedy and greedy. All right, next one, hammer and nail. I'm getting close to the end there. All right, stage one. What the? See, okay. Come on. Okay, well, that's really, really annoying. Oh, shit. There we go.
Okay. Wow. Uh, this this is probably one of the most annoying games I've played so far. I mean, some of them are bad. Some of them, the controls suck. Yeah, it's true. But this one, uh, I don't even know, like, because there's no challenge here. Okay, so the timer, the timer goes up. So that's just, I guess, maybe it takes points away later or something. That's not a big deal. The, this thing that sucks about this game is that you have to wait for these nails to land on the axis. And sometimes it just, it just doesn't happen because they jump in, you know, random directions all the time. Sometimes they will always jump away from there. And okay, maybe at the beginning it's okay because you have choice. But to get the final few axes is excruciatingly hard. It's not even hard. It's just you have to wait for it. So it's not a, like a good game. Because you're just waiting for things to happen, you know? That's a sign of a bad game where the action doesn't happen. You have to wait for the action to happen. Yeah, that one. Mm, not good, this one. Not good. Hammer and nail. Yeah, well, at least that's what the title says, but it's not good. Not good. All right, last one for today is going to be Happy Match. It better be. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's go. Next level. It's going to be the same thing or what? You can pause it, but the music doesn't stop. And that's a bit annoying to comment over it. Okay, so that's basically like a matching game. I mean, look, we, we've we had that in like Mario. Uh, well, Mario 3 had it, I think. Yeah. Um, yes. Yes, yes. Um, but okay, Mario was... That was just like a part of the game, though. The main game was still Mario. It's just on top of it, they had these mini games with the... Uh, the cards and that was fine. It works that way. It's kind of just an extra thing to do This though is the whole game Like that's all you do. You're just matching cards like there's no other game outside of that It's just matching things and it's like why would you even bother like to, to buy such a game? I don't get it like you can you can literally just make it you can even draw it on paper whatever you can draw numbers and then you know t turn them around and then try to put them on the table and guess the uh, guess the numbers you know like find the matching numbers i just i don't understand like why i mean okay i don't know about this game in particular i don't know how much they actually charged for that at the time but i just don't get it like it doesn't make any sense to charge anything for it to be honest like it's it's the absolute like bare minimum of what you can call a game. So I don't know, like I, as a kind of high school project, maybe like early, like back maybe in those days, a university computer project, I guess that's fine. But to market it as like an actual game though, I, I just don't see that. So I don't know. All right, that's it for today, guys. So next time we're going to look at 281 to 290 and here uh, we have a bunch of things that, yeah, I don't know what they are. They are IQ champion. <laughs> okay. That's going to be interesting one. Jump, jump. Okay. That sounds like flappy bird to be honest. And then we have jumping kid also as well. And then lighting. 
I'm not sure if it means lightning or lighting. A lot of people actually confuse the words a lot. And then they blame it on autocorrect. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's going to be it for today. And then to, uh, next week, I will do more of this. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice weekend. And I will catch you next week. Otaku up, signing off. Peace.